Hello everyone. Welcome to this new lecture on reinforced concrete structure. This is your first lecture where I'll be uh, telling you about the mark split ups and the easy ways to get your marks. So, reinforced concrete structure is a very important topic no matter what exams you are giving, be it your government exams or even your interviews. So, reinforced concrete structure uh, is also an easy topic where you can score marks in competitive exams. It may be a tiresome topic when it comes to conventional exams in, uh, as in your semester exams but when it comes to competitive exams reinforced concrete structures is one of the easiest topics where you can score more marks and all you need to do is just understand few concepts and unlike fluid mechanics where you have to keep so many concepts in mind in reinforced structures few concepts will fetch you more marks so let's get started and before we start i would really appreciate it if you could smash that like button drop me a comment and share this free program with anyone who might need it so reinforced concrete structure is important for all the competitive exams but uh, since i have given only gate i know only the marks printer for gate alone but i'm sure it has more weightage in other uh, exams also so in gate uh, the topic of reinforced concrete structure can be divided into four sub topics so the first one being material properties working stress and limit state method so uh, material properties means your uh, uh, just simple uh, concrete technology that is going to give you marks and next is working stress and limit state method mind you they are not going going to ask you problems they are just going to ask you only the concepts so working stress and limit state method concepts are very easy you don't have to learn the working stress and limit state method design of beams and all you just have to learn the concept that's it so the concept and simple concrete technology is going to give you 43 percentage of marks until 2018 uh, the average marks in RCC structure is 9 marks. So 43 percentage is almost 4 marks is you are going to get only by learning few concepts in working stress method, limit state method and simple concrete technology. And I have devised my lectures in such a way that at the end of each lecture you are going to have at least one previous year question and I am going to solve it and I am also going to give you a question for you to solve. So this will be a learning basis where you learn with me at the same time you don't have to go and search for uh, the relevant questions that may be asked in the topics because I will be covering all of them. So coming to the second topic, shear, torsion, bond, anchorage and development length. This comprises of 12% which will give you 1% and if you have time and if you are not into the last minute preparation you can definitely learn this thing. Uh, it is very easy mostly they ask the coding provisions only and next is footings, columns, beams and slabs. This comprises of 31 percentage which is like around 2 marks. The thing here is uh, they are not going to ask you conventional questions like your semester exam. They are going to ask you simple questions and at times there can be tricky questions that will lure you into using more of your time. So make sure you are not falling into such traps. So in order to make sure you should know how much time uh, the particular problem is going to take. If it's going to take 5 minutes stops then you can go ahead and solve it. If it is going to take more time it's better not to solve these kind of problems and mostly and frequently they ask the IS coded provisions so you may be on the safer side. So next is pre-stressed concrete. This topic is very small yet you get at least one or two marks every year. So if you are even if you are preparing in the last minute I suggest that you go with pre-stressed concrete in, if you want to get that one mark. So apart from these four topics I would suggest that you have to read IS456-2000, yes the magic code book for us civil engineers. So IS456-2000, I'm sorry, it's 2000. So IS456-2000 uh, will not only help you in gate, it will help you everywhere you go. It is like the bible of civil engineers. So make sure you read it every day, at least two pages will do. So if you learn the IS coral provisions and all the concepts that will be covered in this upcoming lecture, then I'm sure you'll get 9 marks out of 9 when it comes to RCC. So I'll see you guys in the next video. This was just a quick touch up video and I'll be posting regular videos on all these topics. So make sure you subscribe and also press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever I'm putting a lecture. Thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.